Hello everyone, I am Dr. Srivanila. Today's topic is Metaplasia. Epithelial Metaplasia, Mesenchymal Metaplasia. Metaplasia is defined as a reversible change of one type of epithelial or mesenchymal adult cells to another type of adult epithelial or mesenchymal cells, usually in response to abnormal stimuli and often reverse back to normal on removal of stimulus. Epithelial Metaplasia more common and may be patchy or diffuse, results in replacement by stronger but less specialized epithelium. Metaplastic epithelium is less well specialized, resulting in deprivation of productive mucus secretion and hence more prone to infection. Squamous metaplasia. It occurs due to chronic irritation that may be mechanical, chemical or infective in origin, in bronchus, in chronic smokers. In gallbladder, in chronic cholecystitis with cholelithiasis, in prostate, in chronic prostatitis and estrogen therapy, in renal pelvis and urinary bladder, in chronic infection and stones, in vitamin A deficiency, squamous metaplasia in nose, bronchi, urinary tract, lacrimal and salivary glands. Columnar metaplasia. Intestinal metaplasia in healed chronic gastric ulcer. In chronic bronchitis and bronchiectasis, conversion of pseudostratified columnar into columnar type in cervical erosion. Mesenchymal metaplasia. Osseous metaplasia. Formation of bone in fibrous tissue, cartilage and myxoid tissue, in arterial wall in old age, in soft tissues in myositis ossificans, in cartilage of larynx and bronchi in elderly people, in scar of chronic inflammation of prolonged duration, in fibrous trauma of tumor. Cartilaginous metaplasia. In healing of fractures, cartilaginous metaplasia may occur where there is undue mobility. Thank you everyone. Hope you all like the video. Please like, share and subscribe.